Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator once again. Today, we are driving the John Ruda Classic XL, uh, and we are currently in um, St. George, and I believe we're going to Tonopah, if uh, things, uh, if I remember things correctly, but I don't know. Um, we still got Rabinicus' uh, sound pack in here. I think we're rolling with the Cat C15 today, so I'll fire it up so you can hear it. The flat top, and we got the Rocky Mountain Doubles today. All right, let's not waste any time. Just push that parking brake in here, and uh, we're going to start rolling up here uh, for our pickup. I forget where we're exactly taking. We're about to find out here in a minute. I can see our doubles there. I'm going to have to adjust my mirrors uh, before we get actually on the road. Forgot to do that when I purchased the truck. So my fault on that one. We've got a wheel cam today and a face cam. Hello. Uh, after, you know, telling you guys my whole story about getting all my dental work and stuff done, I wanted to show you that I got it done. It's all finished, man. I go tomorrow for my um, final checkup on it, but uh, for the most part, we're all done with that stuff. I'm so, so, so happy about that. Stupid happy about it, actually. This thing has got such a great sound set in it. I do love it a lot. All right, pull up to the stop sign here, and we'll see what we got going uh, as far as where they want us to go. I know we've arrived at our destination, but um, the Rocky Mountain Doubles, I'm not sure where they're going to want us to actually pull into. So we're going to talk to them and we'll find out. Let's do it. And here we are. We're going to be going from St. George to Tonopah, or we could go to Ogden, honestly, and just use the highway. Let's do that one. Let's do Ogden. It looks like it's uh, going to be um, super fast. So no messing around. Urgent delivery. We can't uh, screw around. Let's do that one. Uh, that works for me. So no tone of paw today. We're going to go to Ogden instead. All right, going straight through here. And uh, I believe we're picking up right in front of us here. So just going to go ahead and uh, keep rolling here. I did get my mirrors adjusted where I wanted them. Although those look really messed up. The actual airlines on this. I don't think those are correct. <laughs> I don't think those are right at all, man. Where do you want me to set this thing at, huh? Right through here, I guess. What it looks like. These are long trailers, man. Long, long trailers. Yeah, let's go straight until they give us a little green light here and we'll be good. Works for me. Let's wait for the ding. Pretty lined up. We should be good right here. Yep, right there, sweet. Go ahead and uh, pull that parking brake, flashes off, we'll kill the engine, and let's uh, let them load. Like it's gonna be about 5.45 p.m. So we will be driving into the night on this one, which will be fun. Go ahead and fire up. Here we go. All right, we'll turn our headlights on and uh, push our parking brake in. Let's get rolling on out of here. We have to snake around this stuff again. We are good to go. We're not doing any uh, no nonsense today. We're not going to mess around with doing a, um, a pre-trip inspection and all that stuff. We're just going to get on the road because we got a lot of time and it's urgent delivery. So don't want to waste any time today at all but uh happy sunday to everybody i hope you're having a great weekend so far uh, around this way and then we have to go straight and then through to the right i believe yeah no we can't they have a gate there okay well they really screwed us on this one didn't they man rocky mountain doubles at this place not the greatest idea ever um we should be okay here if i hit this curb yep it's bumpy but we're okay I don't know why my, um, what you call it? it's not working today. My uh, motion platform. I had turned it on and it was set up for America Truck Sim, but I'll say something weird. We're good on that side. Um, is that America Truck Sim today, I went to go play it and Steam uninstalled it. Have you guys had that problem where they just uninstall your games for no reason? <laughs> Makes no sense to me. Like at all. But, all right. All right, left turn out of here. So, looking around freely with track IR, as always. That's how I look around in the cab. There we go. I'm, I have to get hit these curbs a little bit today to get these Rocky Mountain doubles where I want them to go. All right, no more messing around. Let's get up to speed. Don't you guys even pull out in front of me. I knew you were going to try there. Don't you do it. 
40 through here. Ah, we got plenty of, uh, plenty of time to get up to that speed. But like I said, we're not messing around. We got that straight pipe sound, too. Oh, yeah. All right. So I did, um, I'm not using any traffic mods. I'm just using G traffic uh, 3.0, and it seems to be beautiful. I love it. All right. I'm sorry there, uh, Caprice, but I don't think you're getting out of here uh, anytime soon, man. Traffic is kind of killing us right now. I mean, it's a 3.0, but look, it looks pretty realistic, honestly, as far as the amount of traffic you would have downtown in a you know city. So there is that. Uh, not a big deal. We're just gonna sit here and wait. Of course, he had to be making a left-hand turn. At least this guy's making a right turn, so we should be good. There you go, buddy. Keep it going, just like that. Oh, he almost went right out into traffic. That was a little scary. Uh, after this truck, we're good to go. So let's keep it rolling, buddy. Keep it rolling. I was that guy on that green Caprice. I did not light him out. Sorry, buddy. Just not gonna do it today. We're gonna hit the suicide lane here for a minute. Let those things come out. There we go. Get back over into our lane to go left up here anyway, so that works out. Floating those gears like we always like to do. Uh, make a left turn here at the light, it looks like. We'll just use some uh, engine braking. Or so, well, not engine braking, but we're going to use the uh, gears to slow us down here. Since we're, we are in this city, we shouldn't be using our jakes all the time. Let's try a little bit of realism, right? Just a little bit. <laughs> oh man, we're stuck at a light. Getting out of St. George is not easy today. I thought it was going to be a lot quicker than this. All right, we're rolling pretty good here. We're going to get in this uh, left lane for our turn lane. Uh, it wasn't too bad, really. But I I'm liking this being set to this because it's pretty damn uh, realistic as far as how it, you know, it should be. And uh, I like it a lot more than just using traffic mods, you know? And I've noticed that if I use uh, G traffic uh settings uh it uh, doesn't uh, seem to lag as much as the other ones oh man we already got the green we're going through it no matter what let's get going buddy i know it i know they're short but let's go anyway we're gonna run it yep there it is i knew we were gonna get in trouble for it sorry guys i got a, i got a long train here behind me it won't be in this lane anyway there we go i was like screw it we're gonna run it we have an urgent delivery so no messing around. We got a lot of time to make up on the actual highway here. Go down to this line right here. Wonderful. All right. Nice. But yeah. Hopefully you guys are having a, a good weekend. I have two. Um, I recently got into smoking meats, smoking these meats, meat like a brisket. Yeah, I know. Um, but I did. And I did uh, my first one. Uh, which was a pork butt. It was a 3.5 pound pork butt. Uh, I smoked it for 18 and a half hours. Um, you know, not every pork butt is the same. So this thing was, uh, it took forever. So I smoked it at 225. I have a uh, Pit Boss pellet smoker, electric pellet smoker. And uh, it was my first one I ever did. Never have never smoked anything before. Um, I was like brand new to the whole thing, but I, you know, I read up on everything. I did all my research on everything and, uh, it turned out so good. Uh, but yeah, 225 for 18 and a half hours on three and a half. Now it stalled around 170. Honestly, I didn't think it was going to be okay. We have to straddle these lanes here for this roundabout. Actually, we're doing to be making a right. So I'm just going to put my blinker on and ride the middle here for a second. Watch that side. Make sure that guy isn't going to try to pass me or something stupid. He's trying. He's going to try. Got them there. I know we yield to them, but we're good. Okay, sweet. Onto the road we go. Okay, so we're not messing around. I'm going to split my gear getting on the highway here. There's five high. We split back down to six low once we get up this hill here. Right, I was open. Beautiful. Uh, so yeah, 225, and it stalled right around 170-ish. 
And, uh, man, it was stalled for, like, uh, I don't know, about seven hours or so. Uh, and I know I could use the Texas Crutch if I wanted to. I could, you know, foil it uh, or turn up the temp and get it, you know, higher like that. Uh, I chose to not do that. I wanted to, you know, do it the right way, uh, low and slow, as long as possible. Doesn't mean it's the only way. I, I know that. I do know that. But uh, I wanted to, um, you know, do it, uh, do it in a way that I could learn from it. But it turned out so good. I remember I didn't get very much sleep that night because I wasn't planning on smoking anything. And then I got the smoker all finished with its burn in and all that. And once that was taken care of, man, I was I was good to go. Actually, you know what? We'll go into uh, eight high here. Now we'll turn our uh, Jake break on. A wider smile with crest strips. We're getting over for this car. See that guy back there? 75 through here, man. I was gonna let that car on the highway, but he's uh, already way up to speed, way before we were. There we go. Use that Jake brake when we have to. Grand Canyon National Park. Beautiful. No graphics mods, just using stock ATS, believe it or not, I know. Crazy to think it, but it's true. It is true. Um, so, that turned out really good. And then yesterday I did smoked salmon. Uh, and I did that uh, at the meet. It was like at 140 to 170 on the temp. I had it set to 200, um, but it didn't want to do it all the way there. Okay, buddy, I have to get over or this guy's just going to sit there. All right. He's just going to sit there with his triples. Not getting Coca-Cola today. Man, he was rolling, wasn't he? He was definitely rolling. That was scary. I couldn't get over because that, uh, that guy was there. Um, but... Uh, yeah, the smoked salmon took about an hour and a half. Um, I had it set at 200, but uh, waited for the internal temp to get right about 149, 150. It, it was perfect. It was good. So I've had a lot of success with that so far. But let me know in the comments below if you guys uh, do smoking. It's not that kind of smoking, but, you know, <laughs> smoking these meats, meat like a brisket, that, that kind of smoking, you know. But just let me know. Um, I'm always willing to learn. Uh, my next big one I want to do is going to be the um, the brisket. Oh, I want to do a brisket. That is going to be awesome. So I'm looking forward to that. A big a time. Okay, we are coming up on the next exit, which is... We're at South Main Street in Cedar City. Okay, we're in Cedar City, so we're getting there. This thing is... Weighed down, my friends. Weighed down. This has got a lot of weight to it. You saw. Um, I forget what the, the actual amount was, but man, it wasn't uh, messing around. I mean, we were just, we're going to go as fast as we can to get there. Teeter City. Spotify up there. That's cool. South Main. We're not taking that exit. But yeah, we don't ever do any nighttime drives. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to start out early in the morning and get a run. Instead, we're just going to drive into the evening and into the night. We never get to do that. And uh, this sim looks so damn good at night. So we're just going to roll with that. You're going to have to yield their car. Sorry, buddy. Can't get over. There's a car there. You knew how it goes. All right. Now we're slowly getting up even uh, faster. All right. Get ready to get in the left lane if possible. Getting to eight high there. There goes a trooper. I always love the look of those things, man. Those new uh, new Chargers, they look so good. So dang good, man. North Main Street. All right, let's see. 75. We're not even, we haven't even hit 75 yet in these trucks. There's a Loves up there on the right. Very nice. But yeah, I don't know why Steam uninstalled my game, dude. It's so strange. And it, it absolutely uninstalled American Truck Sim. Oh, that's not so cool. Jake breaking underneath the overpass there. Um, I don't know what that was all about. That was weird. We're getting the left lane. We have an urgent delivery. We're not going to be screwing around in that right lane behind these slow pokes. Not today, man. Not today. I guess asked uh, questions all the time about um, just the... the the little things like the GPS there on the left. Sometimes I have a cell phone there. 
that's all a uh, that's a SCS thing. That's that's their DLC they did for the uh, add-ons. So if you have that add-on DLC, you can uh, you can definitely do that, or you can go the option of you know SISL stuff. We got road construction up here. I'm just ready for it. You know how they are. They just it's 55 through here, which is fine. But these guys will come over all the way up here and slam the brakes and cut in. It's very realistic. <laughs> very realistic indeed. I right, got a caravan. Let him do his thing. I'm gonna keep it right around 55 as long as I can. I love how the people. Just like in real life, you know, you're in a 55 mile an hour zone for a. Uh, for road construction and you have people blasting through there like 65 and over in the right lane too after this car we're getting over I'm only get stuck in our left lane again if I don't have to I'm not sure I think we have a turn coming up but maybe not maybe we take this all the way up there it's possible oh you're gonna do that thing where you slam the brakes last minute get off the highway yep come on guys I'm gonna give you an opportunity to get around me now I do not want to get stuck behind this trailer nonsense up here. I'm coming over after this car. That uh, that Taurus can just kind of live with it. <laughs> here, I'll even do you one solid, buddy. I'll just drop it down into eight low, and we're gonna just wrap it out, getting up this hill. There we go. We'll do about 1,800 RPM on this run here. Now we're getting up to speed. 75, it's, we're in an 80 zone, but I'm sure that's not what it is for trucks, especially if you're hauling, you know, at Rocky Mountain Double like this, but get around that little Isuzu. Man, when you get stuck behind those guys, it's the worst. I think he got off the highway. Yeah, he did. Okay, I'm coming over. I was coming over. I was like, I just wanted to make sure in my blind spot that he was not there anymore because I thought he was getting off the highway, but you never know. Sometimes they just surprise you. Nope, I'm going to get back over in this lane. These guys are going to be slow pokes in the right lane today. Watch our speed here for this corner. That stuff will uh, get you. But yeah, I haven't driven... I don't think I've ever driven the uh, John Ruta Classic XL. I thought I had purchased it, but I had the Freeware uh, XL. Like Oddfellow and all those guys that made that one. Um, but I just... So I got a hold of John and I was like, hey... Uh, I want to buy this one, so I bought this one from him. It was like 20-something bucks, but man, I mean, his his mods are so good, and they're working in 1.4.0, so a link to his Facebook page will be in the description below. You can check it out there. Um, he, uh, he gets back to you within like a day, so it depends on the time of day. I believe he's over there in Russia, I want to say. Yeah, Russia. Really nice guy. Uh, love his mods. Can't, can't recommend it more. So uh, you go to his Facebook page and send him a DM, a message there, and say, hey, I want to buy this. Uh, he invoices you to your PayPal. You pay the invoice, and then he sends you the keys, basically. And he even shows you, he sends you a picture and shows you exactly how you're supposed to uh, have everything lined up in your in your mods folder, which is awesome. Let me get over here, buddy. Here we come. I do have my headlights on. It just, I love how the transition of day to night is in this sim now. It's so much more realistic. You know, the headlights aren't painting on the wall or on the ground there. I'm going to get around this dude here. Give these Celadon drivers some room. Oh, they aren't both. One was a PTI. We're finally at 75, man. We're trying to get this thing cooking. Like I said, you know, we don't have a lot of time to screw around on this run. We always seem to be late when we're on these uh, urgent deliveries because we, you know, it takes so damn long to get up to speed and then we get stuck in the right lane for so long. If you're doing an urgent delivery, you're going to have to drive the left lane. You're going to have to do it for a while because everybody else in this sim will go super slow. Slow down for the corner here. This thing got sway in that corner. <laughs> That's the only thing about um, Track IR I don't like. I love Track IR. Don't get me wrong. 
but when you have to turn your head just even slightly, it throws your, like, perception off. Like, if I have to turn my head just this way and look at that mirror, sometimes it, uh, it throws you off and you, uh, you tend to drift in the lane. I guess it's because of that whole thing about, you know, uh, target asphyxiation for the most part. You just kind of stare at that. That makes sense to me. I did get a uh, new VR headset. I got a Reverb G2, the HP Reverb G2. Love it. It is so awesome. I love the clarity in it. Um, let me know if you want me to do a video on it and, and kind of talk about it. But uh, the only thing I don't like, and man, my headlights aren't on. No, they weren't on. I was an idiot. Um, the only thing that uh, I don't like about it is that it is, you know, it's Windows driven. So imagine, you know, you already have those issues when you have a Windows update or something and uh, it likes to take over your audio. Well, having mixed, okay, slow down, slow down. We got road construction up here by slamming brakes. I see a prime. Hold on, I'm slowing down, buddy. I was gonna let you in, but that works out too. All right, I'll drop it back down. Turn that off. A wreck or something, yeah. That sucks. All right, now I'll get over. So anybody that's back behind me can get around me. No problem. Um, but though having it, uh, you know, wixed, wixed, mixed reality headset and being so Windows based. Oh, every time I have like a PC issue or I restart the PC, it 100% defaults to that thing every time. Not not the sounds I want. So that's the only thing I don't like about it. It's comfortable. Um, I prefer the Halo style headset um, that I have with my Rift S. I do miss that, um, but it has more of the traditional style uh, headband. It's it's very, very similar to the CB1, honestly. The Rift CB1. But the clarity and the picture and the controllers and stuff, man, they're so damn good. Um, that really makes a difference. So, I was like, alright. I'll do it. I will make the jump and, and make, the, make the switch. And at least it worked. I mean, I plugged it in and I had the mixed uh, reality you know, uh, app and all that installed, and it was a breeze to set up. Better than Oculus. And the other side of the coin is that Oculus is moving over to the Facebook platform more and more, to the point where you have to have a Facebook account to do it. With the with the Reverb G2, you don't have to. And I prefer that. I really do. All right. So I've been slowly bringing some uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator content back out on the channel. Been uh, a long time coming. I took a break off of that. I was waiting for the sim to kind of develop a little bit more, you know. And uh, it's looking pretty darn good. And I'm ex super excited for the Aerosoft CRJ coming out. That's going to be epic. Going to be epic. All right, finally getting our speed back. But you see how long it takes for us to get the speed. And I'm very surprised that we didn't have a... Uh, we haven't had any problems with the uh, having to stop at a scale yet. I say that now. Knock on wood. <laughs> Knock on wood. All right, buddy, where are you going? You're exiting up here, okay? Once I start getting to 75, 80 miles an hour in, in a truck of this size with that, you know, that much weight behind me, it gets real sketchy there, real fast. Make a decision whether you, you know, where you want. That was the wrong one. Uh, where you want to start slowing down and stuff where your corners like this corner here they love to throw those at you that's that's classic SES right there man they just kind of they tighten those corners a little too much I don't know maybe it's realistic but uh it's like you know I don't drive in a real truck in real life so I don't I can't tell you how often that's happened but you guys that are real truckers let me know how often you have to slow way down for like something that a road that just kind of does that it jots to the right or left to me you know just driving on the highway and doing road trips and stuff it's always a very gradual turning thing i mean and if you do have a sharp corner you usually have like signage that tells you hey there's a sharp corner coming up here dummy slow down 
but these main highways like this, I just don't think that it would just jot like that. It's so strange to me. I could be wrong though, like I said. I am not an expert by any means. I am just driving a fake truck, having a conversation with you. <laughs> da, 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 da. All right, keep on going. We have to get over in the right lane up here. Let's we'll make sure we're around that bus first, and we are. I think they're gonna have us exit up here, I do. We're in Ogden, I believe, aren't we? I wanna say we are. Not those, man. There you go. Got me to get over one more. No car over there. Because I know what they're going to do. They're going to be like, hey, you need to get up the highway now. Riverside Road or something. It looks like that's what's going to happen here. I don't know, man. Yep. I'm coming over anyway, just in case. Yep, this is our exit. Sweet. I was like, I, I haven't been to Ogden in a while, but I remembered that. I was like, I remember that they did that to me on this exit before and you're in that middle lane and you're kind of just cruising along you know so that's good it's better than nothing i'd rather be uh, prepared for a turn than you know not at all so there's that and this uh transmission it floats so good it's an 18 speed you know good old uh eaton fuller 18 speed but uh Having the uh, sound set in this thing, like, you don't hear a whole lot of grinding gears. That's the only thing I don't like is you can like nail your uh, shifts a lot with the default kind of sound set thing. There's still plenty of room for this turn here. Um, you can cut, you can just nail it, and you'll sometimes get that grinding sound all the time. It's but some of these uh, sound packs kind of remove that because it's a little obnoxious, and I appreciate that. So thank you, Rabinicus, for that. Your intersection. All right, we are going to be making a left turn up here anyway, so that works out for me. And this thing sounds so damn good. We're gonna roll the windows down here and enjoy the sounds off this engine pack. And yes, we were definitely going to engine break down this hill. I don't care if it's at night in a city. Trailer back there that truck. We get another left up here. Watch those back there. Not this intersection, but the next one. Oh, we got stuck at this light. That's okay. I don't mind it because we're going to be going through uh, all our gears again. And it sounds so damn good. It sounds really good. Let's put it in one low. Yep, there we go. Well, welcome to Ogda, but you notice what I'm talking about? Ever since I removed that uh, AI traffic mod, we had no hiccups this drive at all from city to city. We even went through like, it's a Salt, Salt Lake City too. And that always stutters for me. So I'm very, 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 very blown away by how good uh, the performance is right now on it. And if you wanna know what I'm using, you can always go to my uh, about page on YouTube, I'll tell you. Yep, left turn up here. So I usually do a uh, double clutch uh, going down my gears, but I don't whenever I'm going up through them. I float them. All right, our trailer's definitely gonna be sticking out back there, which is fine. Works for me, we're making a left here. Didn't have my blinker on, I'm a dummy. I'm a dumb dumb. Man, look at that interior, looks so good. Really well done. There it is. You sitting at the green light the whole time. Don't you be doing that, bud? Come on now. We gotta get going. Professional trucker guy, come on. All right. All right, I'm making a left turn down to that light, it looks like. Just 
do it for the hell of it. <laughs> Wake everybody up on the main street. Well, that's all right. It, it, this time, um, it wouldn't matter anyway, because time is it right now? Oop, slow down. I could have made that, but man, I, I don't think I would have. Because like, you've got to slow down for these corners no matter what. And say so it's probably about time where the bars are going to be letting out and stuff. Because the uh, game time is very different than, uh, you know, other stuff. There's little windows all the way down here. What a fun drive this has been. I really, really have enjoyed it. Oh, I missed that shift. Oops. Oopsies. Road work ahead. Got to love it. We're going in this little place over here on the right, and I have no clue what to expect here. Turn our uh, flashes on. Looks like we go straight in, and it's a huge yard. So, I think. I don't think we're going in there, right? All right, I'm going to pull over here to the side of the road. I, I want to go in here because I was looking on the GPS, and I have no idea where this thing is supposed to go. So, we're going to walk over here to the uh, guard shack, and then we're going to try to figure out where they want us to go. Okay, so according to the GPS, we uh, are supposed to be all the way up against these rail uh, cars here. But that is the spot right there. So we need to have our left wheel, looks like, uh, right on the left uh, railroad track. And I think we're going to be able to get through that guard shack, no problem. We might end up... We're just going to we're gonna do it really wide and then come in that way. Man, just look how good that truck looks at night. That looks so damn good. All right, push the parking brake in, put it into gear. Let's do this damn thing. All right, let's give ourselves plenty of room here. I can't really turn those high beams on. Uh, we're good. If we stick all the way to this side and then go all... We're just going to give ourselves a big, huge uh, turnaround spot right here. Let's turn our... High beams off, so we're not blinding the guard shack, dude. There we go. All the way like this. Keep cranking it this way. Don't hit the little divider. We're good there. All right. And then we stay to the left here. That gave us so much room on the right. All the way left up against this thing here. I'm going to turn my uh, high beams back on so I can see what we're doing here. All the way left. Let's give ourselves plenty of room. I know there's a post right here. I don't want to hit that. I see it right there. Uh, I can't see anything very much on that right side. Oh, no, I can see it in the uh, small mirror over there. We're good. Let's go left. Okay, now I can see the back end there. There they are. Oh, we're good. We are good. So let's go all the way left here next to this yard dog, and we'll come back around to the right. That's what we're going to do. All right. I don't want to hit the yard dog. I see him right there. There's our final, our final trailer right there. Just went past the guard shack. We need to go all the way to the right here. And if memory serves correct, these rails are really screwed up, man. Uh, I think they're they're not very good with the uh, physics mod. I'm kind of glad I don't have my... Oh, that's not bad. Uh, but I'm glad I don't have my uh, motion platform working today because... No, okay, there it goes. I was, I was about to say, I know it does something real dumb. So here, left wheel on that left rail. We should be good here if we just go straight. There's the final trailer coming around now, finally. Oh, yeah, see, there it is. I, mean, I, I, I've done this before, I know. I know how stupid it can be, look at this. Oh, yeah, I'd be absolutely getting wrecked right now in the uh, ocean platform. We're good. Just keep it rolling forward, man. If they don't like this, I don't know what to tell them because this is as good as we can get it. This is a dumb drop, though. Look at this. It's like hitting switches. <laughs> hitting switches. Oh, oh, they got it. We got it. Whoa, dude. Holy crap. That was crazy. That's about as good as it's going to get. But, yeah, I have these. Uh, I had a custom hookup here out the back i don't know why that's not working right there but it ran the they were supposed to go up and underneath but they're going up and around so that's interesting all right well cool let's go ahead and uh detach this or we just got to unload we don't we're not detaching anything job completed excellent 301 miles look at that we were not late hazard class four bonuses there with the uh, long distance fragile and urgent delivery we nailed it 
on that one. And uh, 71.9 gallons of fuel consumed. If you're following along, here is what we have, the John Ruda XL. And uh, here's all my mods here on the right that I'm using. I'm just going to scroll down. You can pause it whenever you need to. Um, and uh, you can, uh, you know, search that way. Um, coming all the way. We'll get all the way down to the bottom. I'll show you how we have this thing all installed. Um, following all the directions. Icons is how we don't have those floating things anymore. Uh, going on down, going on down. F mod sounds, all that stuff. Yes. Keep going, keep going. And then here we go. Now we're getting to the John Ruta stuff here at the bottom. And this is exactly how he wants all this stuff set up. All down, down the line there. So, uh, halogen lights and all that. There's the key for it. And uh, there you go. So... If you want to try to match it, go ahead with that, and uh, you'll be good to go. And there you have it, folks. That is going to do it for this episode of American Truck Simulator. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, and I will see you all next time. Take care. Hello, everybody. It's Jeff. I uh, just want to let you guys know that uh, merch is available if you check out the link in the description below. And uh, there should be some images you can click on below the video as well. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it.